So now we're going to move on to the specialized toolkit, the advanced tools. And you can see it's a set of uh, six made in America by a great engineer and uh, color coding handles, aluminum, plastic, and stainless steel. They'll last your lifetime if you look after them. Uh, we sell a lot of these because they're the only ones in the world. They're not clay tools, they're sandcastle tools. So we're going to use these and show you what they're all for um, and how to use them properly because they're an invaluable part of building better sandcastles. Welcome back, and here we have the, the advanced toolkit. So let's say we want round windows. This is the guy, uh, it's pink, and you can just make a round window. We'll take our shuttered window away and make our little round window. We'll go inside the tower. So you can see some of the sand dropping off the roof in the film, probably. And that's because our sandcastle is drying out mighty rapidly. So we're gonna make a window like that. Very, very simple. And if you make it bigger on the inside by gently removing the, the debris from the inside, you can make it look more like a room than a window. That's the round window tool. Then this one, this is your micro spatula. Very, very um, small version of the one you've already got. And you can actually put bevels and tidy up any little details like that. Very, very simple, beautiful tools. Um, then if we want um, slot windows, we can use this tool which is our slot tool. It also makes crenellations. We're gonna go in, into that in a minute. And we make our little slot windows here. Very, very fast, very, very easy. And if you wanna clean them up, you just go back to your little micro spatula and make those archers windows, traditionally where they used to fire crossbows from. Um, and then you can just clean them up like that. Very, very fast, very, very simple. Um, these tools are designed for building sandcastles, they weren't designed for doing anything else. So, very, very simple, very, very clean, very, very quick. Okay, so you can do that very quickly with the yellow tool, which is your, your uh, offset spatula. Very good. So then, we may, we may want to do a column, okay? So if you want a column in the middle, you can literally use the red tool here and pull a column right smack bang in the middle of your deal. And if it was straight, it'd be even better. Okay, like that. We're gonna put that column tool in there and then we're gonna use the little yellow one just to trim the edges away. So your column can protrude right out from the side of your wall. Gives you a nice little different detail. Clean, this, clean the debris away with the, with your tools, not your fingers, okay? So we've got that. And then one of the other great tools is our square tool which is this one here, the blue square tool. Fantastic, because it can do this. Not only can it make little doorways, if you want a, a really simple, quick doorway, you can just rock it up and down and make a doorway very, very fast into whatever you want. So we're making a doorway back into our little crenellated tower, and you use it and just move it up and down like this to cut the debris out of the middle. You don't, and then when you're inside, cut a little space to the side of it and to the other side, make it bigger on the inside, again, to get that impression of corridors and rooms, and just get your eye to pull somebody else's eye away. But the really cool thing that it does, we start each sandcastle with a slope for our staircases. We've already seen that. You can use this to clean as well, it's really cool. But if you make a slope between the two towers, out of your little doorway, like this, and onto our little platform, like this, Again, you can, you can continue to put the texture in and make sure your buildings cut in like this and put your texture in with your little, your little trowel because obviously we have to work from the top down so you have to do this before we do this. So we get this down to here, pull the debris away like this and then you can do this. Down, out, down, out, down, out, down, out, down, out and you can pull your staircases all the way down onto your deck. So you can clean that. So basically you're going down and then pulling out, down, pull out. Very, very, very simple, okay? So like this, and then like this, and then like this. And that way you'll have a staircase which comes out of your main building. 
So here's this tower at the back because we haven't been ignoring the back and what we're going to do is put the crenellations in using the little tool, our little green tool which is this one. Um, great tool, crenellations, really really simple. This has gone very very dry so we have to be careful. We're just scraping, we're not going to do the whole thing, we're just going to scrape into the middle. Like this. Keep them nice and even. Oh, something in there. Bit of grit somewhere. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take that off. So there's one bit of your crenellation, okay? But you can't actually make them right without using your spatula. So if you want them nice and crisp and slightly bigger, you use a spatula, you just cut the sides down and then you just lift out like that. Cut the sides down, slide the spatula in and lift the debris out. And then after that, we need it to look like a real castle. So they have an angle put on them like that. And then we just go straight down. Again, it's the spatula. You have to be able to use the spatula. Um, that's what we do. Very, very fast, very, very effective. You can make a little tower like that very quickly and you can tell when the when your castle is straight the sides are straight because these lines will be dead straight here and then what do we do let's just put the windows in using our slot tool the same one we use for the crenellations very very fast very very simple you can clean them up with the same tool if you if you're nice and delicate okay take the sand away boom so this is what we've got so far we've got shingles up there we haven't finished all the shingles off the video's too long we've got more shingles staircases going both ways we've got small internal staircases buildings windows shutters stone rock brick everything so we're heading towards the bottom now and what do we do with the bottom well we collected all this sand down here what are we going to do with that? Well, there's an easy way to finish off a castle, and castles are usually built on mountains or on cliff sides, anywhere where there's rock, because there were no cranes in those days, so you had to use what you had. So let's just make a few rocks, shall we? Again, we're going to switch tools and go back to our big spatula. All right, we're going to do the rock here, and then we're going to do this. few rocks here now they, they, they look very angular at the moment what we have to do is push the edges back you can bring that out straight like this have to have somewhere for the staircase to go again you can get these nice big one of the things that makes your rocks look better is shadows and angles so you have to get those shadows to appear But again, we're going down here with our big spatula. Get beautiful flat surfaces. It's just the thing you've got to have because we're coming out of our doorway as well. Now, one of the things that can help you with your, with your stones is making those shadows appear. Get those shadows to pop out. Sunlight is one of the most important things you can have in making the, the stones and things. So we do that do that and then we can do this so we get the basic shape knocked out like this and then you can just dust them off in it I'm just going to show you the base construction of this thing and um, this is like three millimeter plastic um, they call them pool forms um, they're just thick white or black plastic you can get them from suppliers um, but they're pool forms you wrap this up and you see clamp it see clamped at the back and this holds the base of your castle and then you can get up so it means you can stand up and carve you're not scrabbling around on your knees and then we use the trash can and the two gallon bucket as you saw before on top of this so this is the way to contain your base sand 
Um, if you want to make a really big one, you can take it off, but we usually don't recommend that. 